All right, apologize for the hockey garb. I just, I wanted to talk to the fine people of the entertainment guy for a second as the entertainment guy. Hopefully you guys don't really notice all the hockey garb. People are going to notice the hockey garb. So <clears throat> I have been working on my list of my favorite videos of all time. And where where I'm, I'm, I'm getting stuck is, and, and the reason why I haven't started the list yet, and, and I want to give you guys an honest reason is, trying to separate which videos are good and which songs I really like. So in other words, uh, songs that I may really, really enjoy and the video might be not great, and I might go, well, the video is not fantastic. It's just a, 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 um, a performance piece. But like a good example would be, and this isn't on the chart, Bon Jovi's Living on a Prayer. Somebody might watch that video and go, you know what, this is a really, really good video that showcases Bon Jovi's talent. And therefore, uh, you know, it showcases how their live show works, and it's it's really kind of fun. So yes, that belongs to the chart. I watch that and I go, eh, well, it's a live performance. And then and then the other question I ask myself after that, because this is, this is, again, I want to explain why there hasn't been a top 100 yet is should a performance piece count as a video because there's some fantastic performance pieces for instance uh any ramstein performance so should i use ramstein performances that aren't videos but are live performances should those be qualified as part because the way that we consume media now it's not just a video that's that's distributed to a record company that we get it's a live performance that somebody might take on their phone or maybe the band releases on on youtube and you go wow that performance is amazing should that count as a video <clears throat> and then yeah you know on the weekend we went and saw uh bohemian rhapsody the movie and now i'm in love with queen again i've i bought um there's a three-hour documentary that i bought i bought uh, 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 uh volume three which what it is, is their last five CDs with five EPs as well. So all these bonus songs I've never heard in my life or B-sides that I heard years ago and haven't heard in decades. So I'm going to nerd out in the van while we're driving around. Yvonne will be like, what's your deal? Why are you howling? And it's going to be like, because I haven't heard this song in decades. Um, and then, you know, and so I'm going to buy the other volumes as well. Uh, because you get a little mini poster too. So I think the mini poster is kind of awesome because it reminds me of how awesome the four of them look together. And then does that color it? See, that's my other problem too. Does my fandom of a band color what I think is the best video? Or does the best video... Like, for instance, when I started this, I said, well, I'm not going to do Smells Like Teen Spirit, right? Well, it Smells Like Teen Spirit's on the chart. It's there. Because I thought, you know what? Screw it. I may not like the song. I may not have been a Nirvana fan. But it's a fun video. And then... Does that just open it up so I have to watch every single video ever made before I do it? Like, I don't want to do this, and then as soon as I'm done, go, crap, I forgot, and then insert name of awesome video here. Huh. And that's that's what I stress about. What I used to do back when I was in high school, I mean, everybody knows all my stories about hockey and everything, right? Um, what I what I did was I had a, I had a uh, because I was so enthralled with the idea of a top 20 countdown, or in Much Music's case, they had a top 30. I thought, I don't really like their top 30 countdown, so I'm going to have my own. So every week, I sat down, and I wrote out my top 30 videos, and I had plus or minus however many they rose or fell. For people who watch my hockey channel, you'll now understand, oh, that's why he is so gung-ho about power rankings. Exactly. Because I like tracking things from week to week. It is amazing, and it's fun. <laughs> Uh, and I used to keep records of which songs have been at number one the longest, which songs have been on my chart the longest. Uh, there was a song that was on the chart for over a year for me because I never stopped wanting to listen to the song. And then I had top ten albums as well, which I gave up eventually because I couldn't come up with ten current albums that I actually thought were worth bothering with, which was late 80s, around 89. But what ended up happening was, as we transitioned into the 90s, I stopped having a chart and instead, I had my 1,000 favorite songs. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, so what you've seen on this channel here of just, you know, my 100 favorite songs, that's nothing. Oh, that's so nothing. I used to have 1,000 favorite songs, and it updated about every six months. So what I would do is I'd have this chart, 
And then as I found new songs, either old songs that I'd never heard before, and I went, geez, that belongs on my chart, or a brand new hit song, and I'd be like, all right, or a brand new song nobody ever heard of, and I'd be like, that belongs on the chart. Then I'd have to figure out, okay, which songs are dropping out. So I would cross out the ones that I was dropping off the charts, and then every six months I would sit, I would take every lunch and every break, and I would start, I'd be just, just going through my list, and I'd, I would sit in the back. I wouldn't even sit with people in the lunchroom. I'd sit in like the storeroom where they made boxes. And people like, what are you doing back here in the box room? Chart. What? What chart? My thousand favorite songs. Thousand? Yeah. You're writing them out by hand. Yeah. Why? Because? Does anybody see it? Nah. No. Why do you do it? Because. Because. And that's why I do everything I do. That's why I do everything I do with all these boards and have so many magnets. Because why am I making more small magnets? Because I made more today. Do I need them? No. I make them because. Because I might need them later. Because there's a chance that there'll be a flood and I might lose some magnets and maybe I'll need some more. Like, there's just because. So, um, when it comes to this, I'm kind of obsessing to make sure that I get it absolutely 100% right it's not that I'm not focusing on it, and every time we're watching a music channel of any sort, I'm like, oh, there's a good video. Oh, there's a good video. And I'll start putting it on the chart. And, uh, you know, number one has been the same number one video since I started with the chart. I typed in a video, and I'm like, okay, that's probably going to be the number one, and it still is. And it's a relatively recent video. It's not Thriller. Uh, thriller is, is your standard number one. And I enjoy Thriller for what it is. It's a great theatrical thing, but I think there are videos now that are technically better than Thriller. They're not as long. They're not as epic. I agree, and Michael Jackson was a legend at the time. But uh, I have Thriller at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 11, 12, 13th right now. And Sledgehammer by Pretty Gabriel is at 12th. And I can tell you guys this because the chart's going to change tremendously between now and when I actually do it. Uh, but yeah, I have I have Sledgehammer at 12th, which will frustrate people. What could be better than Sledgehammer? There's stuff. Uh, Sledgehammer was great. The problem I have is that Peter Gabriel also had a bunch of other videos that were excellent that way, like Big Time, uh, Steam. Do I include them? Do I not include them? Well, I've included videos of other bands, tons of videos from other bands on my chart. So do I have to include all the Peter Gabriel? Should I go back and watch all the Peter Gabriel and try to figure out was Kiss That Frog really as much fun as I remember or was it just kind of lame? Is Digging in the Dirt a great video? Should I just have a, a chart just for Peter Gabriel videos? Yeah. Uh-huh. And do I have Billy Joel's We Didn't Start the Fire? Is that in here? Damn it, it isn't either. I just, I just thought of that one. <sighs> yeah, this is what it's like in my brain. So there you go. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. And uh, no, I'm not currently doing 1,000 videos. But I, d I don't know if I have 100 or not. I may already have 100. Uh, it's sort of like jerseys, but using my brain and with songs. There you go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you again soon.